This is part one of the Chartco video tutorial Introduction to Chartco OneOcean. In this tutorial, we're looking at some of the main features of OneOcean. We're going to spend some time looking at the OneOcean homepage, we'll look at how to customize OneOcean, and how to check the status of OneOcean modules. At the moment, we're looking on the screen at the OneOcean homepage. Once you've completed the initial configuration of OneOcean, this is the page you'll see whenever you start up the program. OneOcean is divided up into different sections or modules relating to different Chartco services. You can use the home page to open each module. To open a module, click on the relevant tile. And to return to the home page, click on the home icon that you'll always find at the top left of the window. You can customize the home page by reordering the tiles with your mouse. By default, at the top left of the window there are shortcuts to each of your modules. These shortcuts allow you to switch between modules without having to keep going back to the home page. You can reorder the shortcuts with your mouse, delete shortcuts by right clicking, or add a shortcut by dragging the tile icon up to the shortcut bar. The tiles on the home page are organized into groups. To create a new group, click the plus icon, Give the group a name, and then you can drag tiles into your new group. If you want to return the home page to the default, click this icon here. And now the home page tiles and groups are back to the way they were when we first started. Another way to customize OneOcean is to change the color scheme here. I'll go into one of the modules so you can see more clearly the effects of changing the colour scheme. There are four colour schemes to choose from which have been designed to suit different lighting conditions. Other options for customising OneOcean are available in the settings menu here. This includes mapping options for controlling the appearance of the OneOcean map. user management settings for restricting certain actions to authorised crew members. And in particular, if you're just starting using OneOcean, you should check that your vessel details are recorded correctly, as this data is used in many of the modules. The home page also gives you an overview of the status of the modules. This is done using the coloured bars at the bottom of many of the tiles. If the status bar is green, this means the service relating to the module is up to date, there are no updates due, and there are no outstanding actions for you to perform. Let's go in and take a further look. Most of the modules have a status panel at the top left of the window. This gives further information about the module status. If, however, the status bar is red, this means that updates are overdue or there are errors relating to the module. For most modules, the status changes to overdue if OneOcean has detected that there are more than two updates available that it hasn't yet collected, or it could mean that OneOcean hasn't connected to the Chartco server for a long period. If the status bar is orange, this could mean that data updates are due. For most modules, this means that OneOcean has detected that there are one or two updates available that it hasn't yet collected. Or an orange status bar could mean that there are outstanding actions for you to perform. If we look at the Nav Area Warnings tile, we can see that this has an orange status bar. And if we open up the module, we can get more information from the status panel. Well, we can see here that the data updates are up to date. However, we can also see that there are some outstanding actions for us to perform. There are some cancelled warnings that I need to archive. So I'm going to do that now. That's all done. And now we can see from the status panel that there are no actions overdue and everything's up to date in the module. So if we return to the home page, we should find that, yes, the tile status bar is back to being green. On the home page, there's also a useful summary status option. This pulls together in one window the status summary information for every module available to you. If OneOcean is configured to collect data updates using the internet, then it will automatically check for and download any new updates each time you start the program, and every six hours after that. You can see on the Data Updates tile that OneOcean is currently checking for updates. 
and OneOcean lets you know whenever a module is updated. You can also use the Data Updates module to prompt OneOcean to check for updates. That's the end of part one of this tutorial. In part two, we'll take a look at the OneOcean map and see how to find information in OneOcean.